the last time I spoke to you, you said that you were going swimming. I think I didn't know if you meant in the sea or if you meant the swimming oh, yeah. in the sea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Since since um, since the first lockdown, I have not swam in a swimming pool. I've just oh, I, really? I go outdoors now. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Just made that change. So. You just pointed in a direction, and I thought, I don't know if that's where there's a swimming bath or if that's a part of the ocean where you're saying there. That's where I'm getting my cosy on. Just, uh, anywhere so yeah, the yeah. sea see that way see that way see that way <laughs> lakes that way <laughs> oh beautiful yeah i love it excellent okay well um i suppose another curious thing which i try to find from artists is do you ever find that you have a specific color palette do you ever have recurring colors or yeah blue <laughs> blue. blue yeah indigo mainly my, it's my absolute favorite color indigo um, mm. but I do blues, greens, um, yeah, I think they were the ones. Gray. I did notice that on your charts, it's deep blues and greens, like beautiful. Yeah, I think that just comes from the influence of living by the sea and yeah. being out every day. I walk the dog, so I'm out looking over the sea and, and mm. that's sort of very much... I'd, I'd realised actually the other day I was chatting to a friend, looking out over the view I have from the top window, and um, it never struck me before. But I was I, I I messaged him a couple of pictures, uh, photographs of what I produced for my final show. Some of the, the, mm. the what, not, yeah watercolour ink pieces, and, yeah. um, and then I looked out of the window, and I'd realised how much of an influence that view had been on the work I produced. And I was talking to a friend the other day about it as well, and she said, yeah, she said she was walking out on the straight, um, and she looked over, and it just struck her, how the, 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 you know, where the influence for me had come from in the work she'd seen of mine. You know, really? Sure. And it was so a subconscious, do you think? Yeah, totally subconscious. Yeah. It's just, just yeah, it's there in, in in my yeah yeah in the subconscious, and I'm just drawing on those sort of memories yeah. of of what's out in the view. That's lovely. So, but this, I mean, again, the work I'm going to be doing at the moment is going to be very vibrant, bright, lots of colours. So I don't mm. just necessarily stick to. One, but if I'm doing a series of work, the series of work will be on those same colours. You know, it won't. Yeah. Uh, there won't be a variation within that. Yeah, if there's space, you'll incorporate your preferred colours, but you're not constrained by a specific no. palette necessarily. Yeah. No, no. No, very good. I'm always curious to ask people because of how much fine art has changed over the years from the classical approach which you still see repeated to this day and the different movements are still influencing people, whether they're painting and drawing or sculpting or whatever type of mixed media people use. But because it's now wandering into different areas and there's obviously digital media is having an influence, I'm curious as to what you might think the future of fine art could be. What do you think it could be heading in? I don't know. These things go round yeah. in circles, don't they? I say the same thing. They, they, I, say I, I see it in so many different areas of life. It, it all goes around full circle. I, mean, I, I started studying fine art 20 odd years, 25, 26 years ago. And mm. it was very different to what it is now. It was quite shocking. Mm. But then you can still go and study. You can uh, just straight painting if you want to. Fine art painting, you know, it's in a, in a more traditional sense. It's... I think it's it's just is what it needs to be for each individual person. Mm. Um, yeah, but things things go come in and out of fashion. They go full circle. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I think because there's such a diversity of interest and people are going to you know it's it's but it's it's about demand as well, isn't it? Um, mm. As well as what's being produced so yeah, yeah. It's, have you ever tried it's digital it. artwork yourself nope 
No. I've never really connected with it, to be honest. I've tried it. I wouldn't even bother trying. I've got more yeah. important things I want to do with my time. It's not <laughs> It's not hands-on for me. It's sitting in front of a computer. It's not... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, There's tangible? no physicality in it. No, when, yeah. when I work, there has, for me, there needs to be physicality of engaging yeah. with the materials of... And almost like that physicality of movement mm. for me you know so if i'm painting i'll be painting standing up moving yeah. um so i engage with what i'm doing and, and and to sit at a computer is just too static plus yeah again i'm not outdoor you know i i, I need to be i've known from very early on again from being a kid that for me, I, I need to be engaging outdoors with nature. Mm. Um, and for me to be sat indoors all the time, it just is not something that, that it's just not part of me. No.